you are going to learn how to estimate the quantity of materials required to make pavers. Have you ever wondered how much material you need to make those beautiful pavers? In this video, I will show you the exact steps to accurately estimate the materials needed for your next paving project. Whether you are a do-it-yourself beginner or a pro, watch this video till the end and learn how to estimate materials required accurately. Step 1 is to first measure the area of your outdoor space in square meters. The second step is to choose the paver design or type that you want. After doing all necessary calculations and you find out that you need let's say 14,660 pavers to fit in your compound or outdoor space, the next step is to find out the materials you need to make the pavers. To know the materials required to make the pavers, you must first know the number of pavers required in the first place. Considering that you need 14,660 pavers, the major materials required to make pavers are 1. Stone dust 2. Plaster sand 3. Cement 4. Road lime and 5. Water Let's begin with finding out the quantity of stone dust required. There are two kinds of stone dust. One is called smooth and another is called mix. And the stone dust that makes good strong pavers is called mix. Therefore, when ordering stone dust intended to make pavers, you have to order the one called mix. The information I'm going to share with you below is experience based, tested and trusted and also study driven using an example of an outdoor space that needed 14,660 pavers. Let's begin. 4 tons of stone dust can make 1,500 pavers, one forward truck has loading capacity of 4 tons and enough to make 1,500 pavers. There are 4 for 14,660 pavers that our outdoor space or compound has, we get 14,660 divided by 1,500 pavers to get 9.8 forward trucks, which is the same as 9.84 trucks multiplied by 4 tons to get 39.2 tons. Therefore, you need 39.2 tons of stone dust. One Sino truck has loading capacity of 37 tons. Therefore, instead of buying 9.84 trucks, we simply purchase one Sino truck with 37 tons and one Elf truck with 2.5 tons. 2.5 tons for an elf truck plus 37 tons for one sino truck will give you total as 39.5 tons and that's what we exactly bought here. One sino truck and one elf truck, which is approximate to the value that we need. The second material we need is plaster sand. Plaster sand helps to bind together the aggregates in the stone dust thus being so essential. Getting the quantity of plaster sand you need is so simple. You simply say, plaster sand is equal to stone dust divided by 2, that is, 39.2 tons divided by 2, to get 19.6 tons. This is because, when making pavers, we use a mixed ratio of 1 to 1 to 2, that is, 1 part of cement, 1 part of sand, and 2 parts of stone dust. That simply means that plaster sand is equal to stone dust divided by 2. We've already calculated and found out that we need 39.2 tons of stone dust. Therefore, plaster sand is simply equal to 39.2 divided by 2 to get 19.6 tons of plaster sand. One forward truck has loading capacity of 4 tons. Therefore, 19.6 divided by 4 is equal to 4.9 which is equivalent to 5 forward trucks of plaster sand. As simple as that. And that's what we exactly bought here. The third material we need is cement, and this is also simple. Cement bags required is equal to number of pavers divided by 100, which is equal to 14,660 divided by 100 to get 146.6, which is equivalent to 147 bags of cement required. This is because one bag of cement makes 100 pavers, therefore to make 14,660 pavers, you purchase 147 bags of cement and that's the exact number of bags of cement that we bought here. The fourth material that you purchase is road lime. 
and we get the quantity of road line by simply saying that number of bags of road line required is equal to 7 bags divided by 2 which is equal to 147 divided by 2 to get 73.5 which is equivalent to 74 bags of road line. And that's the exact number of bags of road lime that we bought. Road lime looks like this. Don't buy the white one. Buy this exact one with this color. Each bag of road lime is 7 kilograms. Road lime helps to harden the paver blocks and that's why we mix half bag of road lime for every one bag of cement. The fifth material that we need is water. And we get the quantity of water required by simply saying that Quantity of water required is equal to number of bags of cement multiplied by 40. That is 147 bags multiplied by 40 to get 5880 liters of water. And that is simply because for every mix of one bag of cement, stone dust, plaster sand and road lime, we mix with 40 liters of water. That is for every mix we need 40 liters. Therefore for 14660 pavers you purchase 5,880 liters of water, which is enough to make the required pavers. As simple as that. In summary, when finding out the quantity of materials required to make pavers, we first find out the pavers that we need. The pavers will lead us to getting the quantity of stone dust that we need. Stone dust will help us get the quantity of plaster sand required. Again, pavers will help us get the quantity of cement required. Cement will also help us know the quantity of water and road lime that we need. To simplify all this, let's say that our outdoor space requires 14,660 pavers. To get the quantity of stone dust required, we simply say, 4 tons of stone dust can make 1,500 pavers, which is one for a truck. Therefore, for 14,660 pavers, Divide by 1,500 pavers, we get 9.8 forward trucks. 9.8 forward trucks multiplied by 4 tons, we get total as 39.2 tons of stone dust. To get plaster sand, we simply get stone dust divided by 2, that is 39.2 divided by 2, to get 19.6 tons of plaster sand. To get cement bags required, we simply get number of pavers required divided by 100, since one bag of cement makes 100 pavers, to get 147 bags of cement. To get road line, we simply get cement divided by 2, that is 147 divided by 2, to get 74 bags of road line. And to get the quantity of water required, we simply get cement bags multiplied by 40, that is 147 multiplied by 40 to get 5880 liters of water. That's all about finding out the quantity of materials required to make pavers. I hope you get something from it. If this video was helpful to you in any way, kindly hit that subscribe button. I would really really appreciate. Watch this next video about a simple step-by-step -step guide on how you can make pavers by yourself.